Welcome to Goa C65 English News Bulletin. I am Anjali and these are the headlines. The Union Home Minister Amit Shah addresses Mahmood Rally at Farmgudi on Sunday. Officially kicks off the party's election campaign in the state. Strong message to South Goa opposition. Second Health Working Group meeting will begin from tomorrow and continue till 19. Delegates including Union Minister of State of Health, Dr. Bharti Pawar will arrive in Goa. Traditional feast of the Annunciation or Pesach Fest celebrated with great enthusiasm on Sunday. Its specialty is that people from all over come to enjoy Pez. And now for the news in detail, the second health working group meeting will begin from tomorrow and continue till the 19th. The delegates including Union Minister of State of Health Dr. Bharti Pawar are already in Goa. Here are the details. The Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Sawan attended and addressed the summit today. The Chief Minister spoke on the exchange of ideas that will lead to the creation of futuristic healthcare roadmap. Listen to additional Union Secretary Health and Family Welfare Love Agarwal as he gives the details. It is such a pleasure to be part of this discussion today with all of you. Uh, let me welcome our colleagues from national media as well as media from the state of Goa. Uh, we will utilize this opportunity primarily to just to highlight uh, with respect to what the G20 working groups are about, parallelly focusing on the priorities which you have selected for the health working group and how do we perceive that we should be collectively endeavouring in G20 to make a global impact. So this is a small press briefing to leave that I would just like to highlight the, what is the relevance of G20 in global arena. Just to submit to you, uh, G20 countries consist of all the G7, the most developed nations of the world and also 12 countries of growing economic and political importance including the European Union. And if you were to see why it is such a powerful institution, because if 90% of the world's GDP is actually happening within these G20 nations, 75 to 80% of the world trade, two third of world population live within this G20 grouping and half of world's total land area is within this group. So what we have understood and realized is that G20 has such a strong advocacy path in terms of setting global agenda. G20 is a non-partisan forum in that sense that we are not promoting India to what we are doing in G20. But you have to understand that when globally we have so many stakeholders sit and talk and talk and talk and talk about India, then we will need to have a discussion about India. So parallelly what happens is that India's success also is visible to all of them and this ensures that India to that extent gets known. Just like I have told you that I am coming to the Confederation of India Industry which I am coming to the seminar. There were so many global speakers there. They said that we didn't know about many of India's successes. But today we are with you and we are listening to you and we are listening to your participants. So we would like to learn more and take it to our country. So I would put it in so many words that it happens subtly. It is not that you say that this is India doing this. So because this is a global forum where you discuss global issues but obviously your India things and India efforts get highlighted. Health is such a big sector. In health there are so many multiple challenges. So while we will focus on few of those critical challenges as specific priorities, we are also trying to work through series of co-branded events and we are trying to see that health ke arena ke sare challenges ke baare mein G20 ke samay par discuss kiya jaye. Kuch event aur humne plan kiye jaise ki hum किस तरीके से डायग्नोस्टिक्स को विश्व में प्रमोट कर सके तो आज ही साइडलाइंस ऑफ सेकंड हेल्थ वर्किंग ग्रुप एक इवेंट की जा रही है डिजिटल हेल्थ का जो कॉन्फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज के साथ मिलकर हम लोग के डिजिटल हेल्थ समिट कर रहे हैं जो कि गोवा में आज चल रहा है इसी के साथ ही क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड हेल्थ मैंने इससे पहले सबमिट किया 
उसमें वन अर्थ वन फैमिली एंड वन फ्यूचर एज एन अप्रोच लेते हुए कैसे क्लाइमेट चेंज पे कार्य करने की हमें करेक्टिवली आवश्यकता है जो कि हम एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक के साथ कर रहे हैं इसी के साथ ही एडोलसेंट एंड यूथ की हेल्थ और वेलबींग के ऊपर उसमें क्या क्या चैलेंजेस उस पर हमें क्या कार्य करना है हम मेटर चाइल्ड न्यू बॉर्न एंड चाइल्ड हेल्थ का जो इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है उनके साथ मिलकर कर रहे हैं मैंने आपको इससे पहले कहा है कि ग्लोबल सेंटर फॉर ट्रेडिशनल मेडिकल मेडिकल ट्रेवल की इवेंट दो और को ब्रांडेड इवेंट हम कर रहे हैं विंसेंट रोजारियो एंड ओमकार देश प्रभु फॉर गोवा टे The Union Home Minister Amit Shah addressed a mammoth rally at Farmaguri on Sunday, officially kicking off the party's election campaign in the state. Significantly, the rally has been held in South Goa parliamentary constituency. The ruling Bharatiya Janata Party under Prime Minister Narendra Modi is leaving no leaf unturned as it seeks to come back to power for yet another time. In fact, this time the party seems to be determined to also wrest the South Goa seat from the Congress. and this time with the ponda taluka heavy weight ravi nayak and ramkrishna sudin dhavlekar bharat mata ki kyun bhai south goa walon ki awaaz ko kya ho gaya hai aisi awaaz nahi chalegi yahan se modi ji tak awaaz jani chahiye is baar south goa mein bhartiya janata party ka kamal khilne wala hai मेरे साथ दोनों हाथ उठाइए अंत तक वहां खड़े हुए भाई बहन भी हाथ उठाए विजय के संकल्प की मुट्ठी भीजिए और प्रचंड आवाज से बोलिए भारत माता की मोदी जी ने उनके नेतृत्व में गोवा और उत्तराखंड में भी पूर्ण बहुमत का आशीर्वाद मिला और गोवा उत्तराखंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट ये छोटे छोटे राज्यों में जब हम जीते तो खड़गे जी का एक रिएक्शन था ये तो बहुत छोटे छोटे राज्य है अरे खड़गे साहब छोटे राज्य है मगर भारत का महत्वपूर्ण अंग है आप मत भूलिएगा छोटे राज्यों का अपमान मत करिएगा छोटे राज्य भारत की धरोहर है और उनका महत्व इतना ही है जितना बड़े से बड़े राज्य का है राज्य जितना छोटा होता है केंद्र की जिम्मेदारी उतनी ज्यादा होती है वो राज्य का विकास करने की ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी की मोदी सरकार की नीति है मित्रों कांग्रेस को भले गोवा छोटा राज्य लगे हमारे लिए गोवा भारत माता के भाल पर एक टिकिया है बिंदिया है और भारत माता के भाल कर ये बिंदिया इस सुंदर प्रदेश आने वाले दिनों में बाकी के चार साल में सारे वादे पूरे कर कर हम आपके सामने आएंगे कांग्रेस का यहां पर भी पूर्ण सफाया हो गया मगर साउथ गोवा वालों मेरी एक फरियाद है गत चुनाव में आपने यहां से कमल नहीं खिलाया हमारे भाई सवाईकर को थोड़े से वोट से हराया था और मैं आज सिर्फ और सिर्फ साउथ गोवा की सीट के लिए आया हूं मुझे मेरे सारे भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्यकर्ताओं ने कहा है कि साउथ गोवा की सीट हम मोदी जी को कमल खिलाकर देंगे यहां से भाजपा का शांत सी ए कानून का हमने वादा किया था मोदी जी ने सी ए कानून समाप्त कर दिया बना कर लेकर आए राम मंदिर का वादा किया था राम मंदिर का निर्माण हो चुका है काशी विश्वनाथ कॉरिडोर बनना शुरू हो गया है कई सारी वंदे भारत ट्रेन चलाई 22 एम्स बनाए 23 आईआईटी बनाए 20 आईआईएम बनाए कई हवाई अड्डे बनाए जल जीवन मिशन के तहत 6 करोड़ गरीबों के घर में शुद्ध पीने का पानी पहुंचाया पीएम आवास के ही तहत करोड़ों घर दिए और भ्रष्टाचार मुक्त शासन अगर किसी ने लंबे समय के बाद दिया तो हमारे मोदी जी ने दिया हिरू महाले कृष्णा नायक एंड शिवानी सांगेलकर फॉर गोवा थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव 
The issue of garbage which falls under the panchayat scope of action is an issue the government has been struggling to solve. Despite the chief minister directing panchayats to take drastic steps in solving the issue, not much seems to be taking shape on ground. This road in Bhatle at Taligaon is one such example. Here are Subhashish Gavekar and Shrishti Athanikar with a report. I am here at Durgawadi Road in Bhatle, Taligao and uh, as you can see behind me this entire area is strewn with garbage. Now while the panchayat and CF himself have stressed that the panchayat need to take control of the garbage management in this there seems to be no measure being taken place here. Not a single dustbin has been placed along the entire road here. And as you can see to my left here, there is garbage strewn across the entire side of the road. Right throughout the vegetation and right till the end of the road. There is not a single spot that has been get clean. Now, again can bring to question what are the panchayats doing? Are they really not taking the kind of necessary action they are supposed to be taking? Are they not taking the CM's words as seriously as they are supposed to? And another interesting fact to note along this road is, there is a board that we will show you that says Santa Cruz Village Panchayat, no dumping of garbage. Now while this area mainly falls in Taligao, the end of this road leads into Panjim city. Now how Santa Cruz Panchayat plays a role in this area is to be seen. And if so, are they the ones responsible for the garbage that are being dumped over here? And if not, is it Taligao or is it CCP? Shishti Atanikar, Subhashish Govekar and Shivani Sangelkar for Gwadar 65. We will take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. The PWT, which undertakes some of the most major works in the state, is seemingly unaware of what is happening right in its backyard. While the PWD head office at Altino, which oversees the department's operations across the state, has nefarious activities taking place right in its backyard. Here are Shishti Athanikar and Subhashish Govekar with a report from the PWD head office. I am here at the PWD head office uh, in their car park and uh, it seems to be surprising that the parking lot right behind the head office has turned into a site for anti-social activities like drinking and whatnot. As you can see behind me and around the corners, there are all beer bottles, cans and you know all sorts of uh, cigarette bars and packets and plastic. And this is all right in the backyard of the PW. Now there seems to be no security guard. Anyone can enter as they please. And uh, as you can see right behind me, this is how this sort of thing happened. I mean, look at this vehicle that is being kept here. It has been rotting here. There's all graffiti over it. And uh, again, if you look down, there's all broken shards of glass. People come here quite often, apparently, looking at the amount of trash that is there here. It's all bad plastic glass that has been littered here. Now, what sort of security is being implemented here again is to be questioned because there is no one here entering into the complex is as easy as walking into a garden. Okay, now we are in the two-wheeler parking lot of the PWD head office and as you can see behind me, it looks as if it hasn't been used for years or end. There are sheds, there have been sort of, you know, proper favors being laid here but it is in a complete mess. No sweeping, there's been plastic and you know, glass uh, littered everywhere. And furthermore, a lot of anti-social activities are being taking place right in the backyard of the PWD head office. As you will be able to see in this visual on the screen, people come here, you know, uh, it's not even secretively, there's no one here to stop anyone. You can just walk into the complex, there's no security guard. Again, it's as easy as walking into a garden. Should anything happen here, an incident, who would be responsible since it is in the compound of the PWD head office, it is a government entity, who would be in charge of, should, you know, in case some incident happens here, if there are fights, because there is, turns out to be a lot of beer bottles here, a lot of alcohol bottles, plastics, 
cigarette packets and a lot of anti-social activities do take place here as you just seen in the visual shown right now on screen again the PWD head office that is in charge of all the, P uh, the public works in the state such activities are running right in its back door how is the PWD allowing all this to happen right under its nose it is no secret this place is right behind the main building there's a car park right behind us right now and again is there no one in charge of the security here is this the sort of attitude they have against the security of the PWD head office that anyone can walk in anyone can do as they please and anyone can walk out when they want this also brings to question how capable the PWD is of handling works throughout the state when their very own backyard is in this condition an entity that takes up works of major bridges roads drainages across the state has this for its parking lot something to think about Sushri Atanikar, Subhashish Govekar and Omkar Desh Prabhu for Goa 365. The traditional feast of the Annunciation of Pejjajay Fest was celebrated with great enthusiasm on Sunday. The specialty of this festival is that people from all over Goa come to enjoy pears or rice water. Here are some moments from the celebration. Father Freddy gives details. परंपरे प्रमाणे आठ प्रेसिडेंट आम्ही विचून काढतो आणि ते ही परत करतात जेजू नाचरेतक ही एक भुजण तंची असा आणि त्यांचे ट्रेडिशन असा आणि याच खातिर ही परत तंका सगळ्यांना वड जायत लोक हंगासूर येतात आख्या गोयन सोन लोक आज हंगासूर येतात आणि याच खातिर ही बांधावड आम्ही करून जेजूचे दर्शन तांका मिळो वो आमचा आवडो हीच पूर्वी सुमयार सगळ्यांना तुमका याच जेजू नजरेतान आशीर्वादान भरचे म्हणून आम्ही मागतो आता हे फेस्त जाऊन असा सायमिणीचे फेस्त आणि ह्या फेस्ताक पेज दिसतात एक आंगोण लोक हंगाचा आवडता लोक येतात आपणाचे आंगोणी पाडपाक आणि आंगोणी पाडपाक लोक सगळं मागून मागतात ते आपणा कितें करून थोडो लोक येतात हिंगा बीक मागतात आंगोणीची आणि थोडो लेख थोडो लेख देवापण मागून घेतात आणि हे फेस्ताचे म्हणजे आमची एक परंपरिक परब ही पेजेची फेस्त हिंगा लोक आधी जायतो लोक येतालो व्हड्यांनी येतालो पेज जावन असं धेंपो दिता ती एक तेजी आंगोण कितें आहा ती आदले ते परत आमकां वापरना पूण एक आंगोण तेजी हे भाट आदी खंय फिरगे भाट म्हणजे फिरगे जे भाट आले म्हणजे ते ते कोण धेप्या कोण घे धेप्यान गेले आणि तेका ती आंगोण हारी करची पडता सो एव्हरी इयर तो आंगोण हारी करता ही पेज फिल्म प्रॉडिकी समिता खणगावकर आणि शिवानी सांगेलकर फॉर गोवा थ्री सिक्स्टी फायव्ह वी विल टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टे विथ आज Welcome back now for some sports news. Santa Cruz club Cavallo C beat Kurtore Jimkhana by 2 goals to 1 in the first division Salsaid zone in a well fought match held at Navili ground. The first half ended in a goalless draw and ironically Kurtore Jimkhana drew first blood with a crisp goal by Hanslim Furtado after the break. However, Charles Miranda of Santa Cruz leveled by a good goal and in the 76th minute Kanchan Kiro of Santa Cruz scored the decisive winner. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Sandeep Tuaikar, Manisha Jadav and Sangeeta Oli for Goa 365. Now for the weather. The weather will remain dry in the state of Goa for the next few days. However, it could rain on the 18th. The sky is likely to be cloudy in the evenings. The maximum temperature can reach 35 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature can reach 26 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperatures will not change much in the next 24 hours. Light rain and thunderstorms are expected in isolated areas on the 18th, 19th and 20th. But there is no specific weather warning for boat owners. Rain on 18th and 19th. Dry weather on the 17th. No large change in maximum temperatures in 24 hours. Decrease in temperatures by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius over the next 24 hours. No weather warnings for boat owners. Bureau report Goa 365 with inputs from IMD. With that, we have come to the end of this news bulletin. For more news and updates, log on to our website www.goa365.tv. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Take care, stay safe and keep watching Goa365.